What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another M19 draft. I said the last one was probably going to be the last one. You probably thought it was going to be the last one based on uh, the experience I had therein. However, the people have spoken. They wanted another M19 draft, so they contributed some tickets, and here we are. So, I think we're just taking this. I think these are both good. But, God, the green has really been sticking it to us, huh? It's one of these two, I think. I don't think this is up there. I think these are these are one of the ones we want. Did you name a price for ASMR streams? I did not. I did not name a price for the ASMR streams. I can do some... All right, we'll take the archer. I think the archer is strong enough. It's also setting us in two colors, though. A cage just takes out anything. I'm take the cage. You guys are crazy. Oh, Vampire Sovereign gets passed. That's where I want to be. That's great. That would have gone well with the Poison Tip Archer as well. But um, there's a lot, there's a lot fewer black cards. If we took this and and like there's a lot of green cards in here. These two are very good first picks. I am I'm okay with this, which means. Which means we're probably going to uh, lose handily. Was it really horrible? Was it really horrible? I'm going to take this luminous bonds. I like these two. We're not going to be we're not going to be picking up a lot of dragons though. So this is basically just a glorified manolith. Um, Jeff, let me tell you how hilarious it was when I took seven tickets and I happened to have exactly seven tickets. So you took those and then you tell me that you did it accidentally. Oh man, that was horrible ASMR. Dang, that's rough, man. Sky Scanner was a pretty easy pick. There was nothing really great in that pack. And I... You almost died? Oh, wow. You know, that's what a lot of ASMR is though, right? Moist and supple. <laughs> oh boy, good times. Liliana's contract. Do we want this? Four cards for four life is a lot of damage. I've been using Frank voice to help sleep since wow 2011. That's a good amount of time. That's basically like a thousand years. It's better than Mighty Leap, right? Four cards is a lot. I honestly did. I got like weird anxiety because I felt like the whole internet was watching me, and like I was fumbling around. And I heard you laughing in the background. I'm like, oh, I'm accidentally trolling my dear friend. <laughs> this is gas. Oh, that's great though. That's a good story. So one time I was going to trade Frank these seven tickets, and uh, when he took the seven tickets, I took seven of his tickets, and then he confirmed. And then it was a real Gotham moment. Yeah, I'm going to take this because we do gain life. Like, this offsets the cost by itself, and four cards is, is a lot. <sighs> Starting my second gallon water of the day. Matthew Ori, that's ridiculous, dude. But I mean, that's good for you. That's great. Oh, power two or less. We have one creature that actually fulfills that criteria. Alternatively, we can take Neonate. Bugler could also be better after we pick up more cards. It might just be Bugler here, and we can probably pick up more Neonates and things. It is a two, three Vigilance as well, so. Sky Shroud Elf, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Rupture Spire for the Splash. Uh, overhydrating isn't good, but I'm pretty sure Matthew already probably sweats a ton because he's in an ice cream truck and, like, just driving around and... Yeah, I'll take this for the splash. I think the, the potential of having a, a way to splash a card is better than, um... 
uh, the random 4-2 guy. That's I got to hang out with Swole Mike at the Orlando GP. I told him his favorite mic, and we talked about this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, a take vengeance. All right, that'll do. I might challenge one of the horses to a peeing contest so you can last the longest. Um, I imagine the horse would probably win. I imagine horses have bigger bladders than humans, right? I don't know. Another rupture spire? Ooh. This keeps us real open, which is nice. Uh, this guy's actually good, especially because of the life gain synergies, because of the little analyst contract, etc. Yeah, again, this is a deck where I'm like, I'll play the Knight of Tusk if I have to, but... Whatever, Pritishus Dude 1 GB, I'll never call you your name again. Skyscanner is great, it gets hit by the Militia Bugler. Buggles. Oh boy. This guy also does it, right? Power two or less? Oh, that's great. If any of these come back, this, 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 or this, I'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's great. What? What? <clears throat> what? <laughs> that's gas. Who called this? No less than a god. Man, that was insane, dude. Woo! Easy game, easy life. All right. I don't really want another five drop. I, I kind of like trusty pack beast in case we get more sky scanners. It's also something to get off bugler. Um, bugler. If we're splashing this, we could technically splash this. We still have two red sources. Wow, that's sick. That is sick. Yeah, I'm going to take the Pack Beast here. Unless the land taps for three mana or my splash color, I really don't want to take it. If it's just a blue black, a black white land in our black white deck, we just don't need it. Like, it's going to be so easy to get double black and double white in our black white deck. We don't actually need double black until turn five. Two colors you don't have a problem with. The problem is the third color. Um, We're not blue, are we? Hmm. Gallant Cavalry is actually pretty fine. Yeah, this is actually great. This is a great pickup. Works with Dwarven Priest. It works with Militia Bugler. Man, that's crazy, dude. Oh my god, is this it? Great. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Great. <laughs> That's a good clip, man. That's great. We have a good time. I really want a bunch of neonates at the table. This is a two neonate deck, I think. I'll put two neonates in this bad boy. I'll put a sky. See, this is where I would take the land, but I think sky scanner is just better. Again, it goes with bugler and trusty pack beast, and uh, it's just another card that helps us get to the the colors. I can also see take vengeance, but I think it's I think the sky scanner is just better. 
Boston makes me feel good. It's funny because that song is about ghost busting. Child of Night actually works fine. Again, it hits this. It gains us life. Uh, have you tried Blue Eyed Skill? It's it's uh yes, but it's not a it's not one of my favorite archetypes. Mostly because a you have to get a skilled animator. B you have to play a lot of cards like Field Creeper and Manolith that suck on their own. And uh, C it's really hard to just put together. Like a lot of times you just get cut. Also Dwarven Priest. Also the cards that are getting hit by Militia Bugler here are. Yeah, that's definitely getting played now. We have nine cards that, that a bugler... Eight cards that a bugler can hit. That's pretty... Oh, actually... Nope, nine was right. Oh, the Neonate came back. That's fantastic. This deck looks great. I'll, they have ten bugler targets right now. Wow, this deck looks really good. One, two incoming. This might get me back on that M9 train, M19 train, boys. Eh, came back anyway. All right. Might just play it because it makes it easier to put a island in the deck. Uh, Chromium is worth like a dollar. <laughs> Needs removal. We have Luminous Bonds, Hyromancer's Cage. We have Take Vengeance. Like, what else do we need? Is that not enough? I mean, I think that's a good start. Like, we have a whole other pack still, so... Thank you. Spud Muffin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Wow. Gravedigger is also pretty sweet. And if Sky March Bloodletter or Gallant Cavalry comes back, I'll be pretty grateful. <clears throat> pretty easy Gravedigger there. Pretty easy Angel of the Dawn here, I think. Whoa, Meteor Golem? Woo! I also, I don't hate Daybreak Chaplain. I don't think it's anywhere near the power level of Meteor Golem, though. And I could easily take this Knight out. Well, this pack's pretty bad. I'm just gonna take the Rustwing. Eh, I don't want a third Dwarven Priest. I don't care about Two-Headed Zombie. I'll just take the Bird. I also like Trusty Pack Beast a lot more with Meteor Golem and Double Sky Scanner. 
is Esper. I mean, it's not Esper. The only Esper is literally Chromium. And yes, Chromium is definitely worth splashing when we have double Rupture Spire. I cannot see any reason why we wouldn't play a 7-7 uncounterable Flying Flash Dragon when we have the lands for it already. Uh, oh, Reassembling Skeleton's great here. I like this card because it gains us a life each turn, but I think the Reassembling Skeleton's probably better. Just as a card. Oh, in standard. Okay, my bad. I'm trying to draft here, guys. I don't have time for your shenanigans, okay? Oh, Nightly Valor? That is a late Nightly Valor. I don't think we're going to play it. But it's good. It's good to have. Daybreak Chaplain? Little Chappy? Oh, little chappy. Yeah, I'll take that. I bet I can find a cut for that guy. Oh, Gallant Cavalry came back? God dang. I think second Gallant Cavalry is better than second Dwarven Priest. Wow, another chappy, huh? Chaplain might be better than Child of Night. Another Dwarven Priest, okay. Is there anything we don't like here? Maybe a second trusty pack beast is not great. Yeah, I like that better. This is a lot of hits for... Uh... Also, is the second chaplain better than the first doom dissenter? Probably, yeah. I like that better. Especially with Regal Bloodlord. Wow, this is a lot of dwarven priests. I think there's like four dwarven priests. That's a lot, man. I think this is the deck. Spire, Spire Sanctuary will add one. Do we even need one island for seven mana chromium? So this is six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, I think it seems fine. I don't think Nightly Vatero is better than any of these. I don't want our curve to be too high. I don't like the island either, but I'd rather be able to guarantee cast Chromium. Plus, it's easy. It's just not... It doesn't hurt our mana. Like, we have 9-9, nine, nine, which is more than most. Oh, you're right. Still, I'm going to change it. I'm sorry, guys. I will play first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the hand. Nailed it. Murphins, I'll show it to you real quick. Get ready to screen cap. I have to export it anyway, so we're going to do that. And three watery graves are at the bottom. So for anyone that missed it, this is the deck. Hit them screen caps, boys. It's also going up on YouTube tomorrow, so... You're going to Essence Scatter my Sky Scanner? <laughs> you got it. Oh, uh, I think we went like 2-2 two, two or 3-1. I'm not sure. We lost to Crackland Ironworks. I think we lost to Humans. So we, I think we had 
three two or two two or th we we did all right. All right, what do we what do we want? We want to we don't want to get sovereign canceled, but we have grave digger. I guess they're just canceling this. It's fine. Oh, they're gonna bone dash. That's worse. If we draw land, we can go double sky scanner or just draw four. Ooh, that's pretty good. I mean, they're not putting any pressure on us, so going to four seems reasonable. Or going to sixteen, rather taking four. But they're gonna gearsmith five three four. Yep, three five three four. That's a uh, ten four. That was a good draw. So what we can do is if they attack, we can take vengeance and try to draw a land. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's playing, he's still gonna win. Seven seven indestructible, huh? That I will block. I'm just going to pass because if they want to attack with this, we'll double block it. Our hand is pretty stacked here, though. Yeah, four cards for four life there was pretty insane. This is also a card. This is a card. That thing is dead. Four, five, six, seven. We can't play a Rupture Spire, but we don't really have to. I don't think we have a reason to keep lands in hand. Ah, we could have gotten in there for one, actually. You finally saw Doctor Strange? That's one of my favorite movies. Oh, not a luminous bond. There's gonna be a chromium here, you ready? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that was a that was what we were afraid of. So now chromium in the bottom of the library. You're gonna cancel that and not the bugler, which got me another card? Fascinating. Hmm. Well, now we got to be a little more quick. Whatever they block here, we're going to kill.
That chromium on the bottom is real brutal. Actually, maybe this isn't worth it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, because it's just we lose a bugler, but we actually don't even get to kill both of them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, if we kept the black up, we could have actually played the reassembling skeleton, which is another body. That's so sad. But I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everything you say to me Gets me one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. Hey, Saru, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, my old friend. Always a pleasure. I'm gaining gain a million life. Enjoy your three cards, my friend. Well, that's unfortunate. Mm hmm. You're gonna handle it while you're ready. Crazy little thing going on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six creatures that can attack here. That was a good draw. Everything you say to me It gets me one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break One, two, three. Alright, come on, hit no lands. Three spells is all I want in the graveyard, which is a weird thing to say. Dang, two spells. Two lands. Draw three draw three cards. And we win the game. Despite the fact that they drew a million more cards than we did. That's good. I wish I had an invoke in my sideboard. But it was not meant to be. I think it's just good.
Yes, Bugler hit Chromium, which why which is why Chromler Chrom Chromler Chromium was on the bottom. Ugh. I usually save the GGs till the end. Save those GGs to the end. I will keep this hand. It's not the best, but uh, it's pretty good. Hold on one second, guys. All right. a good dude. don't actually care about the gargoyle that much because if they want to invest three mana a turn that's pretty okay I do want to get rid of this guy now while they're tapped out and also uh, I 
take some of the pressure off there. If they want to tap out for this guy, that's totally fine. Because then we can play Vampire Sovereign, and they don't have Cancel. They could still have... Otherwise, we just get to sit behind Vampire Neonate, which is pretty nice. I mean, we're definitely not playing Vampire Sovereign into their four untapped mana. I'll more than willingly play that. And then you can just do nothing. Yeah, that's fine. If you just want to keep up Bone Dash forever, we're just not going to run into that guy. So I assume you have Essence Scatter and Bone to Ash now, which is a pretty good for your four card hand. Rupture Spire, Daybreak Chaplain. I just don't see a reason to throw these out yet. Like, like th these are two of the best spells in our deck. Real tempted a mighty leap here, actually. Oh, if they tap out here, this is fantastic. Oh, that's great. That's real good. Yep, this is fine. We just wanted to gain the life there. I mean, if they want to bone dash this guy, that's fine. Our Meteor Golem resolves. is not a thing we care about. Pack Beast, the Grave Digger, Dwarven Priest, Child of Night. 100% Grave Digger here. I'm like closing a bunch of windows here. Hold on. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. All right. I think we're good.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just eat three here. I mean, they have to deal with this neonate at some point. And if they want to, like, make this guy fly and then pump it, that's going to cost, like, five mana. Which I'm not too concerned with. I guess you have Mighty Leap, you just make this guy fly, too. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's actually very good. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want a Grave Digger here. We know they have Bone Dash. Like, they've just been playing as if they have Bone Dash this entire game. They just skipped their whole turn four. I mean, you could assume they just have Cancel, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We really have no reason not to, to just throw these guys into Bone Dash. with this guy. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Never okay. Attacking with everything seems pretty bad. They go block two three, block one one, block one three. Or alternatively, block one three, block two three, block one three, and kill everything. That doesn't seem good at all. You know what they say about me Meteor Golem. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Yep, you divination all you like. See, now they in order to play anything this turn, they have to take Bone to Ash down. Which lets us Gravedigger into Vampire Sovereign. Uh, considering we saw one cancel and the cancels in the graveyard, we might be able to play Liliana's Contract here pretty easily. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually block with everything and they get to kill one thing. That seems like a pretty good deal. Yeah, trading Meteor Golem for a Knight of the Boogity Boo is just fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We are one mana shy. We could contract here and then just keep up Neonate because we're real close to having this just win. We might just want to resolve Gravedigger. Get back like Sovereign. I think we just contract here. Yes. And I think we just play Gravedigger to make sure it resolves, keeping Sovereign in hand.
And we can just pass here. And next turn we have Chromium, which should win the game. Because they can't bone to Ash it. Four, five, six, seven. We also have enough mana to activate the Neonate as well. No blocks, but this actually leaves us pretty reasonable attacks, right? They block here and here, they take two, but then they take another one from the Neonate. Interesting. Yeah, we're just going to keep Chromium up. So presumably these two get through. They go block here, block here. Doesn't seem great. And we're not even going to block the Wind Mage. We're just going to actually attack and... Oh, are they going to alpha here? Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, Chrome is just gonna finish the game here. Yep. All right. If you have it, if you don't have a land, yep, that'll do. Fly, Elder Dragon. Ham the Tinkerman? I can't tell if that's accurate, unless or I'm missing the joke. Yeah, this hand's fine.
Yes. And Bugle is a good blocker for this Highland game. Oak and Farm. Oh, for crying out loud. Give me a Take Vengeance one time. Well, that's not a Take Vengeance. That's a lot of blockers, though. That's pretty good. I'm going to take five again here. Gallant Cavalry lets us block pretty well. Nope, never mind. I hath lied to you. All right, this is pretty good. I mean, if they miss a land drop here, we get to sneak in. Yeah, we're definitely double blocking here. Oh, no attacks. All right. Sure. Oh, yeah, we're doing very well for ourselves here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We can actually play four drop again just to make sure we have enough guys to block. Next turn, we can play Sovereign. Or we can actually play just Sovereign this turn. Yeah, I like that better. And then we get uh, Chromium the turn after that, and we have the mana for it. Yeah, 6-5. I will well, triple block. You can kill two guys. That's totally fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If they have Titanic Growth, it's really bad for us, but they didn't have it last turn, right? Like, they just would have played it last turn, right? Sure. Actually, I have a Gravedigger. This is probably just better to have. Yep, here's five. This is a great trade. Oh, wow. That's just a great trade for us. Oh, wow. That's a good deal. Hmm. Let's just play that. Yeah, Chromium's going to be pretty good here, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. So go to 15, Chromium comes down, tax them for a million. Yeah, you got it. Let's just play this little guy. Oh, all right. We didn't want to reveal another flyer to them. Uh, Plummet's not great against Chromium. We can just make it a guy. I think everything is good in here. Thank you. Tuffy Head, thank you so much for the, the, the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got all the colors, which is important. We can also lead with Forsaken into Rupture Spire, which lets us play everything. Land is not what we want to see here in our six land hand. Don't play a Highland game. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. You got it. You got it. This guy. What if Luminous Bonds was uh, can't attack or block and prevent all damage that creature would deal? 
In which case, you get a pretty sweet way to deal with uh, rabbit bites and stuff. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah, I'll prevent four. God, reassembling skeleton is so good. Next time we can bonds this guy if they don't play anything bigger. Uh, probably bondsing that instead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is a good trade. Let's do that. Deal. I mean, if they have naturalized a reclamation sage, it's pretty good. Yep, that's fine. Give me something good. Don't be land. They just go land, make both these guys unblockable, and it's like a two-turn clock. I guess we have Chromium for next turn, but still not ideal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No attack. Well then. Okay. All right, that's actually pretty good. So we're gonna Chromium and then Hiromancer's Cage. I like that. We have plenty of lands to discard to Chromium. Yep, don't care about that. Yeah, that's annoying, but I mean... That's an easy block, plus we get to play Chromium and Hierancer's Cage this thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna do one of these jobbies. One, two, three, four. Get them. Gain a bunch. Oh, yep, yeah, that seems good. Chromium is a real card. How's the deck doing? Pretty fantastically. So we take three here? Yeah, that's obnoxious, but fine. I don't love it. But you're kind of kind of restricted here. Men, 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 men. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, if you got a pump spell, you win the game. Oh my. Oh boy, we did it. <laughs> they tried to like sneak in a... Oh, they were one away from the Palaka Worm. Yikes. They tried to sneak in the Rabid Bite like maybe he F6. <laughs> never, never happening.
So we're 4 0 with this deck because it seems pretty good. I mean, remember when we took those two Rupture Spires in case we wanted to splash something and then we opened, uh, we got past a Chromium in pack two? It's almost like it was meant to be. My matchmaking failed. That's so sad. I don't want to say it's because of my MTGO bugs, but it probably is. Well, that's good. That's good. Hey, maybe. Maybe this draft was infused with good spirits. I will play first. Keep all day. Skeleton, Sky Spanner, and yeah, this hand is perfect. Any blue source, and we get to play Chromium, which we have three of. You two. What up, Rob Coil Engine? Welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. My God. It's been years. That's a name I haven't seen in years. Thank you. Oh, Marsumi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will block. I will 1,000% block you. I will block them, sock them robots right up in here. Get in there. We're going to be aggressive. This is where they play Bogart Brute and then they attack with it and we're going to be like, dang, we should have kept our guy up to block. And we're going to feel real bad. You ready? Feel bad's incoming. Oh, that's a guy I care about less, but he's still kind of annoying. I'll just jump here. Because if we're going to be grave diggering, I'm not going to take four against this deck. That's fine. Yeah, we're not going to not play anything this turn, so getting value off of this guy is pretty good. And now we're no longer attacking. Ah, oh, after 1,000 years, I'm free! Ah, oh, after 10,000 years! That's a good Reader Repulsa. That's nice. I don't know why I said it. I, I did the first one with like a Deckard Cain voice, and I'm like, wait, why would I do that? Deckard Cain wasn't like... Okay, that's good. Yeah, I was like, you're not getting in there, right? You're not that crazy, are you? Oh, boy. Oh boy. If it's a rupture spire, I'm just gonna play that. It was a dwarven priest? That seems good. So next turn on six we can go priest, on seven we can go golem or chromium, depending on what we hit. I feel like we're in good shape here. Four life next turn. Give it the little kiss. That's probably a better first step, right? I'd rather gain more life. What? 
That's aggressive. I'm just trying to gain some life over here. Ooh. Ooh. I see not for me. All right, well, we're doing good. We're doing good. Is this going to be our like are we going to are we going to 30 this bad boy? Is this a bad boy? There's like nothing I care to meteor golem here. Maybe the axe, but I don't care if we trade with either of these. I'd rather just play Gallant Cavalry. Last time it was in Modern Cube. What was? The, the last time we battled? I could see them blocking and blocking and then we just go Gallant Cavalry. We're going real wide, boys. They're going to draw planes. They're going to play heroic reinforcements. It's all going to be... Yep, there's one one part of the prediction. The prophecy is being fulfilled. That is not a heroic reinforcements. I probably have played everyone in cube. That's That's probably accurate. Oh, cavalry seems insane. So does that, actually. So we're just going to play everything first because we want to maximize our dwarven pre 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 our dwarven pre life. I didn't choose the dwarven pre life; it chose me. Let's uh, let's get in there with everything but you. You can stay home. 27 life seems pretty good. With a chromium and a meteor golem in hand. Let's go to game two. <laughs> Alright, well. We are eating everything up. I have to assume my two cards are better than your four, which is a bold assumption. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> Even that's good. Could have just killed the Onaki Ogre. That's probably better, actually, than killing the Axe. I'm just so underwhelmed by all the things that are happening right now that I just didn't even... It wasn't a serious consideration. Like, if they want to trade with Dwarven Priests, like, okay. And we're definitely playing it because we want to have a target for our trusty pack beast if they kill this next turn. Do we just board in more uh, Dwarven Priests in this matchup? I feel like double Daybreak Chaplain, Dwarven Priest, double Gallant Cavalry is oh that's perfect that's just perfect got five on board we probably don't need to do this and uh, the cage was actually a very good draw because we can actually cast it and deal five. Yep. So we don't actually have to show you cage here, which is very nice. All right. So 
I think we are bringing a second priest. The life gain seems relevant here. Double Daybreak Chaplain and a Child of Night in the main deck. Yes, please. Doom Dissenter also seems pretty good here. What doesn't seem good, though? Contract probably not going to be getting uh, much gas. I think we can probably submit like this. Maybe Meteor Golem might be too expensive. Nah, it's still pretty good. Yeah, they could have the Lathless. They could be the deck that... Looks like we're dropping a bunch of frames. I don't know why. So apologies if that's the case, if you guys are noticing some frame jumpage. Today. Uh, this hand seems real good. A little slower, but I mean, these two are great if we can hit four. Uh oh. Now I see what's going on. Oh, uh, that's actually a good three drop. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Hopefully we improve that Grixis deck. It actually seems fun enough to play. I think it's actually just fine in modern. I like that this reassembling skeleton keeps the Swift Club at bay. They could shock this guy just to get in for four. It also forces us to spend another two mana, but they did not. All right. That is fine. All these creatures that just die to reassembling skeleton are all fine. Vampire Sovereign would be great next turn, and then we can play Chaplain and Dwarven Priest on turn six. That would be pretty pretty baller. Oh, this guy's dealing me some. This guy's doing me a. a a frustrate. Yeah, that's also fine. All right, they have two cards. I think we're doing okay. Five drop or three drop? Come on. I think I'm okay with playing that in Dwarven Priest here. Gaining four is legit. This also blocks pretty much everything they have. I mean, another land was not ideal, but... I really, like, we can't even get past this, though. This is kind of frustrating. Uh, yep. All right, 18 turn clock. A forest. Fascinating. All right, they're going to play one of the two cards in their hand. That is a good one. 
Now it all makes sense. Chromium off the top would be great, because otherwise we're uh, fighting an uphill battle here, boys. Uh, yeah, this is likely the last draft. Not forever, but, you know, for tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to five. What a way to make a living, guys. All right. Palladium Mortis no longer has Hexproof. Take Vengeance on an option. Chromium is what we want to see here. Doom to center, not it. That is likely game, because even if they hit us with eight, we go to two, and if we get rid of this, we still take two more, so. All right, Chromium. Hand the feeds, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it, welcome, welcome. Dwarven Priest would have gained us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then maybe Chromium. So we would have taken eight, we would have gone to two. Gain seven, go to nine. Take eight, go to one, chromium comes down, now we'd still die. All right, do we have anything to deal with a chromium? Crying out loud, that is not, that is not ideal. I don't think so, I think we just have to hope they don't get our, their, their colors and their chromium. We have a Hieromancer's Cage, actually. That's pretty good. I want to bring this Knightly Valor in because I think we just want to be able to punch through some damage. <laughs> I don't think I want to board in this one Valken just a, just as a, as a Valken precaution. Yep, still dropping frames. Not a ton, though. Eh, maybe it's getting higher. I wish I knew why. I wish I could explain the internet, guys. This hand seems good. This hand seems slow. Three five drops and a mighty leap. We're gonna keep it. I think I think if we hit any like we have a ton of two and three drops. Three drop into four drop into land would be great. Okay, we got we've got time, I guess. All right, all right. Oh, knightly valor on this would be great, especially with a regal blood lord. Well, that's pretty good. All right, we have to pass here, or do we? I guess we can. Ah, we can wait. We can we can wait and then keep up mighty leap. 
I'm pretty sure we go Bloodlord first. Um, oh, Mentor is going to be a real problem. Oh, that's gross. <sighs> Hope they don't, just don't have Electrify, I guess. That's reasonable. We can actually get rid of this mentor here, which is probably good. Let's see if we can get a bat out of this. I don't know if they're going to block here. Oh, yes, that's actually exactly what we wanted. Yeah, now we'll try to get a free bat. Nightly Valor on this is also very good. Just don't have Electrify. Yeah, one time don't have it. Because if you don't have it, we can keep up Mighty Leap. Don't have it. That ain't it. That ain't it, boy. Frank loves Gutshot. What's going on, Luke? Good seeing you, buddy. Good to seeing you. Interesting. Plus three, plus, plus. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What do you have, a Mighty Leap here? We could block here, you Mighty Leap, or you Sure Strike. Yeah, we're not falling for that. I'll take five, buddy. And then I'll untap, I'll, I'll Mighty Valor, a Knightly Valor here, assuming you have... Yeah, all right, this is great. You're drawing a lot of cards, and I'm not comfortable with that, but let's be clear. We have the high ground. Three, four, five. You have one, two, three, four, five, but we'd actually be able to wipe your board and get a knight. Uh, not a knight, but a thing. A bat. 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 So we'd have Bloodlord, bat, bat. We can also just play, like, Skeleton Mighty Leap. Is it worth that trade? We also have a 2-2. Two -two. We gain three. Yeah, this feels right. Like, we're not blocking with Regal Bloodlord, that's for sure. So if they want to triple block... Oh, we don't get to eat their, all their guys. We get to eat, two, like, two other guys. Which is fine. I'll eat these two. You can keep this guy. Yeah. This board's also pretty okay with uh, Angel of the Dawn, so. I don't like Angel there because it doesn't give us a, a really easy way to Daybreak Chaplain.
to gain life so we don't get an extra bat there. I'd rather just have the bat. And we also get to take out two guys, so... The Knightly Valor replaced itself with the Knight. We also got a bat out of it. So we traded a Knightly Valor and a Daybreak Traplin for a Cavalry and a Motivator. We also gained three, got a Knight, got a bat. So I feel like we came out ahead in that deal. No, oh, that's really good. Jeez. We have to get rid of this Mentor. I feel like it's it's realistic that we might have wanted to take a turn off just to get rid of the mentor, but I'm actually saving this for the Palladium Orders, but I don't think we actually... I don't know if we super have to at this point. Interesting. Pack Beast doesn't do anything here. I think we just play Angel here. Uh, I don't see the point of attacking with this guy. They just double block here, or they just block with this and this. Like, it doesn't doesn't really benefit us. Now they just block, take five. All right, if that's your... God, they're, just, they're digging so deep, though. They've drawn, like, six more cards from that. Hmm. Like, one, two, three, four, five. I think they've drawn literally six cards. That's a lot. And we're also two land away from our top end, so we have to hit lands. Land, land for Chromium or uh, Meteor Golem to be a good draw. It's fine. I think we might go... I, I kind of want to hit a lander so we can go Cage and then play either one of these guys. It's not bad. Yeah, we're just going to keep Leap up. I don't want you to do anything crazy. Oh, I think you still might have Sure Strike in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's interesting you didn't use it on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope that wasn't too loud. I forgot to turn away. It's going to be a rupture spire. Oh, it's going to be a chromium. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Eventually we'll uh eventually we'll be able to cast that in a perfect world. Here they go. Forest into palladium ores. We're at a point where, like, they've drawn so many cards off this that, like, it, I almost, it almost doesn't matter. We also almost have to, like, play around it. God, my kingdom for an inspired charge. Yeah, they're going to electrify something. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous.
Because they're eventually just going to drop Lady Moors and we're not going to have an answer for it. So, like, one, two, three, four. It's turn nine. We've missed a lot of land drops. One block two, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven if they don't block the big guys. No, I'm definitely been dropping frames. I don't know what to do out of those, so. Hopefully you guys can stick it out. This is game three, match three. Do you have another one? Sure strike number two. Why aren't you killing the the real blood lord? That's so weird to me. That doesn't do anything. They're going quite wide here. If we can draw land like three drop, I'd be okay with it. Can't have counters. Okay. Sounds good. Almost, some, it's only a matter of time before they draw like Plady Moors, and they can just sit behind it for the rest of the game. It's pretty brutal. I'm not sure what we can do. Like, Dwarven priest would be nice here. Uh, v Neonate would be nice here, rather, because it would start. It would start to get the ball rolling on the Blood Lord. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I'm playing this because we want to uh, start drawing. We want to. We want to hit a seventh land, and if we can increase our odds of doing that, we're going to do that. I'm going to hold back. I don't think attacking here does anything for us. Like, they have two blockers. They can block these two. They'll take two. They'll go to seven. And we lose four of our own blockers in case they're, like, looking for heroic reinforcements or uh, inspired charge. I'm pretty sure we're just dead to those things anyway. But... <sighs> dead so now we're going to because we give them one turn and then if they want to attack with their flyers we might be able to crack back yep yep I guess just don't have it, right? Five, six, seven, nine, ten. There are seven lands left in their deck. Six lands out of fifteen cards. All right, that's reasonable. I 
And I have two blockers if we can draw one more removal spell. I don't think we even have it, though. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Just gonna attack here. Hmm. Like they're dead to chromium. Electrify that guy. Yep, that is fine. They have one card. Feeling good about that. And we're going to get rid of the Pegasus Courser here. It puts them on needing to draw a flyer. If they draw Palladium Wars, we can still hit it with Chromium. Because now they can't double block. I mean, technically our odds are pretty good here. Surprise, considering the amount of cards. They've drawn like 10 more cards than we have. This might be an alpha. Yep, that's pretty good. Alright, well, let's figure out what we're doing here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you for sure. 1-1 one, one on 3-1. Two, 2-2 two on 2-2. Two, two, you on you. And then we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh my god! They drew like 10 extra cards through the Mentor of the Meek. They had a Plating Wars in their deck they never hit. I was expecting Heroic Reinforcements, Inspired Charge, or Trumpet Blast, one of those three. And we still had enough guys to survive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess the M19 train is back for tomorrow. So we will be back tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to end the YouTube video first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time.